Welcome to Ararat Healthcare and Charcos Learning Centre, your one-stop solution for IELTS, OET, CBT and OSCE training, as well as uh, recruitment to achieve your dream to be a registered nurse in the UK. To enhance your chances of passing your OSCE on the first attempt, please visit our website on www.charcoslearningcentre.com to register and book our unique OSCE portal consisting of videos, reading material and quizzes. This registration not only gives you access to the portal, you will also receive five complimentary online classroom style sessions and a mock OSCE test. So don't delay your achieving your dreams any longer and sign up now. Peak flow. This station is all about health education and communication with your patient. One of the ways to make sure that the patient understands the instructions is to use simple and easy language and also to ask the patient to repeat the instructions. Make sure that you allow the patient time to ask questions and also be ready with the correct information. Entering the room, the scene is safe for me to enter. So before I approach my patient, I will be doing my hand hygiene by the Duetto guideline. So palm to palm, back of the hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, thumbs, tip of the fingers, and the wrist. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm uh, Seema. I will be looking after you today. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. Okay, can you tell me your name and your date of birth, please? My name is June Patty, and okay. date of birth is 19th of June, 1968. Okay, so, and uh, is it okay if I just check it with your uh, wristband? Yes, please. Okay, so I can see that you are June Patty, and your date of birth is 19-6-1968, and your hospital number is um, F001001P. So, you are my correct patient. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, how can I call you? You can call me June. Okay, June, um, can you just tell me if you are allergic to something? No, I am not allergic to anything. Uh, including the medication, plasters, adhesives or any latex or anything of that sort? No, I am not allergic to anything. Okay, I can see that you are wearing a white wristband, which indicates that you are not allergic to anything. Okay. Okay, so June, I am over here today to uh, teach you um, a, a new instrument, which you will be using to check your lung capacity. It is called as a peak flow rate meter. Okay. Okay, so I can see from your notes that you are asthmatic and uh, that you have recently uh, been changed with new medications. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, in order for us to make sure that those medications are working and, uh, the, and are effective as we want them to be, uh, this new instrument which I'm going to teach you today, that is going to help us to figure out what is your lung capacity. Okay. And also that uh, will give us an indication that whether the medication is working. Okay. Okay, so will it, it is going to take around 10 to 12 minutes. Will that be a convenient time? Yeah, you? that's fine. Okay. Before that, do you th uh, think that you would want to uh, have some uh, a drink or go to the toilet or something? No, like I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. So is it okay if I proceed? Yes, please. Okay, that's fine. So before, um, so I have got my, the instruments along with me, and I'm going to teach you how to do that, and also I'm going to uh, be taking the first reading for you today. Okay. Yeah. Now, before I start, can you confirm uh, with me that when was the last time that you took your inhalers? It was around half an hour ago. Okay, that's great. So um, the peak flow is uh, to be done half an hour uh, before you take your inhalers, and uh, half an hour after that. So um, uh, it's it's the right time. So um, now before I approach, I'm just going to show you the instrument first. I have made sure that the instrument is clean uh, before we are going to be using it. So I'm going to show it first and also teach you how to do it and then we'll take the uh, readings. Okay. Yeah. So um, this is how um, the peak flow meter looks like. Have you seen it before? No. Okay, never mind. So this is what a peak flow will look like. Now uh, it has several parts to it. So um, this is the part where the mouthpiece goes in and there is in the back there are some vents through which the air comes out and in between you are going to see that there is a scale okay. and a plunger. Yeah. yeah. So um, the mouthpiece can be of two different types. Either we can use a disposable mouthpiece or we can use a reusable mouthpiece. 
Okay. Yeah? So in hospital normally we use the disposable one, but today since we are, I'm going to be giving this is your peak flow which the doctor has uh, prescribed you. So I will be uh, using the reusable mouthpiece. Okay. Okay. I have made sure that this is cleaned before we are going to be using it. So this is how the mouthpiece uh, you will have to attach the mouthpiece to the uh, peak flow meter. Okay. Okay. And in order for you to take uh, or do the uh, peak flow, there, uh, you will have to be in an upright position. Either you should be standing or you can sit in an upright position. Okay. Now also you will need to make sure that your neck is in a neutral position. So it is not flexing or extending. Okay. I can see that you are sitting in an upright position. Yeah. So you are in the correct position. Now have you understood till here? Uh, yeah. Do you have any questions? No, thank you. Okay. So also when you are taking uh, the, uh, when you are using the peak flow meter, you need to make sure that your, the plunger is at zero before you start. Okay. So this is at the zero or the baseline. Okay. Yeah? And uh, you will need to make sure that when you are holding it, that you hold it in a horizontal position yeah. so that it is parallel to the ground. Okay. Yeah. It should not be dipping upwards or downwards. Okay. Okay. Have you got it till now? Yeah. Okay. Any questions that you have? No. Thank okay. You. That's great. Uh, now the, you will need to take this three readings of the peak flow meter. So um, and you will uh, the the how you have to take the reading is that once you are holding it in an upright position uh, or a horizontal position and you are standing in an upright position, you need to make sure that you are not tired or you are not having a coughing fit or something. So so that you can take maximum air in your lungs. Okay. Okay. So then you will have to take a deep breath in. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. So once you have taken a deep breath in, immediately after you have taken the deep breath in, make a tight seal around the mouthpiece, um, uh, making sure that you are not letting any air come out and you are also not blocking the mouthpiece with your uh, tongue. Okay. Okay. And then give a sharp blow. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So you have to give a sharp huff. Yeah. Okay. So that should be able to move the plunger. Okay. Now once the plunger moves, you have to note down that reading. Okay. Okay. Now um, you you will have to take three readings ideally, and yeah. you can take a, a, um, a little rest in between the readings, so about five ten seconds if you feel that you are getting tired. Okay. Yeah. So uh, once you have taken three readings, you will have to check that what is the difference between the readings. If yeah. the difference between the readings is more than forty units, then you will need to take two more readings. Okay. Yeah. And then we will take best out of three or best out of five, whichever readings we are taking. Okay. Yeah? So that the best out of three is going to be your reading. So that is what you will need to note down. Okay. Okay. Now, have you understood it? Yeah. Do you want me to repeat anything? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So that's fine. So is it okay if we uh, proceed? If you show me how to do it and we can uh, take your first readings. Sure. Okay, so I can say that you are sitting, I can see that you are sitting in an upright position, which is the correct and your neck is not flexed or extended, which is the correct position. And I can also see that you are not tired or you are not uh, having cough or anything. So it should be safe for us to use it. Okay. Okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath in and hold your breath for a, uh, for a second. Okay. Now I'm going to um, uh, be in, putting it in your mouth. So just make a tight seal around your around the mouthpiece and give a sharp blow. Yeah. Yep. So I can see that the plunger has moved. So your first reading is three hundred and seventy. Okay. So I can see your first reading is three hundred and seventy. Okay. So is it okay to repeat uh, it again? Yes, please. Okay. So I've made sure that the plunger has gone back to the base. Yeah. Yeah. So just the same way, just take a deep breath in yeah. and uh, make a tight grip and give another half. Okay, so um, your second reading is 390. 390. Okay, so I'll make sure that I put the plunger back into the position, uh, into the zero position. So are you still okay? You're not tired or anything? No, I can do it. Okay, so that's fine. So let us do the third, take the third reading. So take a deep breath in. And repeat the process. Okay, so I've, I've got your third reading. Third reading is four hundred. Okay, that's great. So when I look at the reading, so the, the difference is not uh, more than forty. So I can take um, these readings are valid. So I'm just uh, I don't need to do two more readings. So out of this four hundred is your um, is the reading that um, the best out of your three readings. Yeah, so I'm just going to place it back. 
uh, and I am going to just uh, uh, check with a chart which tells us about the readings, um, what your ideal reading should be of someone of your age, your height and your gender. Okay. So just give me a moment, let me just check that. Yeah? Sure. So I'm going to plot and see, so I can see that your height is 160 centimeters and your uh, age is 53 years and you are a female, so according to that, yeah, it should be, so age is 53 and uh, divided by 16, so it should be, so your reading should be somewhere around uh, 410. So, um, so actually, your, uh, your reading is uh, 400, so which is actually quite good. So, um, um, it is nearly there and I'm sure that the new, um, inhalers or the new medicines that you have been given that is definitely going to help okay yeah so uh have you understood the process do you think that you will be able to do the readings uh the next readings on your own uh yes yeah is there anything else that you would like me to explain further mm, no i'm fine thank you okay that's that's great now i just want to tell you how you can maintain this device yeah okay so just make sure that you are uh, whenever you are using reusable um mouthpiece make sure that before and after the use you are cleaning it either with the alcohol wipes and let it dry for 30 seconds or you can just use soap solution and let it drip dry before you use it okay yeah and uh, the body of the peak flow meter that you can um, wash once a month uh, with a sterilizing solution or a soap solution and again let it to drip dry okay okay if you feel that the plunger has got very loose or uh, if there is any other damage to the instrument then you can always ask your GP and get it changed. Okay. Okay. So this is how you will need to make sure that you maintain this device and also it is very important to make sure that you do not share it with anyone. It is only for your use. Okay. So make sure that you are using um, it for your personal use. Okay. Okay. So that uh, is what I wanted to tell you about the peak flow meter. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that I update it in your records, uh, your today's reading and uh, we will be doing these reading um, uh, twice a day at least and uh, um, I'm sure that uh, in the evening when we come back to repeat it, if you have any questions um, then you can always ask. Uh, I'm going to leave a leaflet as well uh, so you can have a read through it uh, so yeah. that is going to give you some more information. Okay. Yeah? I have left a call bell with you over here so just in case if you require any assistance you can let us know. Sure. Now before I leave is there anything else that I can do no. for you? thank yeah? you. Okay well thank you very much. So I'm going to take away all my instruments and make sure that they are clean and ready to use the next time and uh, I'll take off the curtain so that you can see outside and do my final hand hygiene. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be leaving and uh, you take care. So the call bell is with you if you require any assistance. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.